Last year, Raven Chacon became the first Native American composer to win the Pulitzer Prize for music, bringing new attention to a composer known for his experimental sounds and explorations of place and history. Jeffrey Brown has this story, the second of our pieces on contemporary Native art for our arts and culture series, Canvas. The setting, a church in Milwaukee at Thanksgiving large organ and musicians positioned throughout the congregation. Titled Voiceless Mass, it was conceived as a liturgical mass, but with a difference. Instead of a choir, there's an absence. The native voices long silenced by the Catholic Church. The piece was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Music in 2022, cited for evoking, quote, the weight of history. For composer Raven Chacon, it's an example of the idea of hojon from the Navajo Diné language. That idea of hojo means maybe things lining up with other things. Maybe, maybe it's ourselves and our position here in the universe and us finding ourselves inside of all of this mm -hmm. and realizing that, that we are in a timeline of other occurrences that happen. And for me, that's what music is. It's when you hear something line up with something else and you want to hear that again. The 45-year-old Chacon, a member of the Navajo Nation, spent his early years on the reservation in northeastern Arizona before moving with his family to Albuquerque, New Mexico, where he later picked up the guitar and other instruments, including electronic. He now lives in the Hudson Valley of New York with his wife, Candace Hopkins, executive director of Forge Project, a contemporary native-led arts organization. Chacon is a collector and creator of sounds, constantly experimenting, expanding what music can be. He writes for traditional instruments, but has them played in unusual ways or places. He also composes for very different kinds of instruments. Here, foghorns, in a piece performed by ship's crews in Bergen, Norway. And another titled report, written for different kinds of firearms. They're all sounds, but they all have other meanings, of course. You know, you wonder what what is, what is on those ships? What are those ships bringing? Where are those ships from? How long are they gonna stay? Same with the guns. Who's holding the guns? Why are they firing? Where are they firing these, these weapons? Are they weapons or are they tools? That's the hope, is that somebody hears something inside of that, whether that's a story or an emotion. The connection to the history of a specific place is often important to Chacon, as seen here in a piece performed on Alcatraz Island, the former prison and site of a native occupation starting in 1969. Sometimes he conveys meaning in very direct ways, as in a work titled Three Songs, three women singing in their indigenous languages, each standing in the original homeland of her ancestors, from where they were displaced, hitting a snare drum, the symbol of the U.S. Army. So music is sound, broadly defined, with meaning? It can have meaning, it can tell story, it can relay a lot of information. I think we go into musical situations wanting to be uplifted, no matter what that music is. But if, if something else can happen, I mean, if the piece can relay history, a history that's not spoken enough, then that surely is a beautiful thing. And so a composer should try to find all the tactics of being able to let that be expressed. So you're writing for bird whistle? Yeah, for bird call. Bird call. Yep. <laughs> This will be one of the, this will be this line here, this uh, little did, 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 did. Chacon does this visually as well. He uses traditional notation, but also makes his own graphic scores. And these, like videos of his work, have found their way into museum exhibitions, including the prestigious Whitney Biennial. 
Chacon has also been concerned to bring the world of sound and music to a new generation not otherwise exposed to it. Since 2004, he's mentored more than 300 native youth, helping them compose their own quartets. It's all part of a whole. If I ask you, as I'm sure you've been asked before, are, do, you, do you see yourself as an indigenous composer? Is that how you think of yourself? I, I don't know what an indigenous composer is. There's, there's actually not that many of us out there. So maybe, maybe someday, you know, there'll, there'll be hundreds and maybe it, maybe it becomes some kind of genre. Mm -hmm. But it's a label I'm not always, I have to really think about, about it before using that label because people have a lot of assumptions. At the same time, I want people to understand that even though there's a few, only a few of us, there are indigenous people working in this medium, in classical music, chamber music, sound. With the Pulitzer Prize, more people do now know. Chacon says he next hopes to write a work for full orchestra. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown in New York's Hudson Valley. That is fascinating. He's expanding the idea of what we consider music. You can find it among harmonizing cruise ships in a harbor, apparently. I love the foghorns. And yeah. the idea, it's a timeline. People will build upon it. Yeah, great story. Great. great story.